Hello everyone and welcome back here to Comic Vantage and today we are back with another new comic book day episode. Yes, I'm here to show you what is coming out next Wednesday. That is July 24th, 2024, the day after my birthday. Yes, I got a big birthday coming up July 23rd next Tuesday. So, you know, give me some birthday wishes down below people. Let me see who's uh, actually watching this video. And uh, I am here to show you also what is coming out next Wednesday, new comic book day, everybody's favorite day of the week. Although I believe next week is San Diego Comic Con, so comic shops are probably going to be a little lackluster, a little empty. Everybody's going to be in San Diego. Uh, but hey, you know, there's a few fun books coming out, some real big ones too. I think right out, right out the gate, we're going to start off with a big book. Not a lot of books, but some good ones. So let's get started. We're going to jump over here to the League of Comic Geeks website. I absolutely love this website, leagueofcomicgeeks.com. It has all kinds of awesome books, shows you everything that's coming out including variants and facsimiles and second and third prints and all kinds of crazy stuff. And we'll go over that in a second. But let's get started. All right. So what's coming out on the 24th? We have Detective Comics number 1087. And you know what? Uh, before I get into the next one here, I'm going to jump on some coffee. Oh, it's actually early here. I'm getting this video out pretty soon. Mmm. Good coffee. All right, something is killing the children. Number thirty-nine. We all know Boom Studios has been sold. Yes, it's been sold to uh, Penguin Books slash Random House or something like that. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how big of a distribution these comics are going to have now. This should be really interesting. All right, Ultimate Black Panther number six coming out this week. Green Arrow number fourteen coming out. Void Rivals number eleven. We got good old Springer there on the cover. Good Transformer. We got Flash number eleven. Star Wars Darth Vader issue number 48. We have Vengeance of the Moon Knight number 7 coming out this week. Harley Quinn 42. Here's one of the big ones. Actually, this is probably going to be the big book for the week. TMNT issue number 1 new series premiere. Oh boy. Look at this. 109 variants, people. You are reading that correct. There are 109 variants of this book. So we're just going to jump over here. The TMNT have all left New York to pursue their own interests, but there are forces gathering that will pull them back together, whether the bad guys like it or not. <clears throat> First up, Raphael. But why is everyone's favorite brawler in prison? When a surprise attack behind bars puts Raph's position in jeopardy, he needs to figure out how to get out of jail and warn his brothers that trouble is coming. We got Jason Aaron writing these books for us. Should be a lot of fun. Now let's get on to these covers. Ooh, boy. Ooh. <clears throat> so these are open order covers here. Everybody can just hop on, order these, wherever you're going. Ooh, beautiful books right there. Then we have incentives. A 1 in 25. A 1 in 50. A 1 in 75. Lee Bormejo. We got a Peach Momoka 1 in 100. A 1 in 250. And a 1 in 500. Yes, I actually see people, I see stores ordering 500 copies of this book. I really, really do, just to get those. <clears throat> so a lot of these open order books, people are going to be on clearance, deep clearance. So, and then we have all the retailer exclusives. Everybody you can possibly imagine is putting out a variant cover of this book. Let's see. We got a second time around cover, four color fantasies, 616. We got, uh, look at Alan Ka is busting out here with 616. These are beautiful. More 616. I don't even know how many 616 books are going to be out there. More 616. Jesus, this company's putting out like what, five or six books by themselves? And AOD collectibles. Now, these are the ones I really want to show. All right, so let's jump down here. Uh, we got some Cameron Johnson, Cape and Cowl. Really, really beautiful books. But hey, check this out. We got an Ultimate Fallout 4 variant coming at us from Mellow Fellow Trading. So this is a beautiful book right here. Uh, I know this Mellow Fellow is also doing another cover here that I'm really interested in. All right, let's see. They've got another one coming out here. Let's see. This is the one that I thought was really cool. If I can find it. There it is. We got a good old Prince Purple Rain homage cover. Look at this beautiful book. Uh, a lot of people are complaining that's not uh, Donatello on this. 
because you know, he's the purple one, and it's supposed to be a purple rain homage cover. But uh, apparently they couldn't do that because this book is supposed to be all about Raphael, the first issue. So they had to have Raph on the cover. Now, another one that I thought was absolutely gorgeous, but it is long gone. Like the day that I saw it, it was just, it disappeared. And that is the Midtown Comics variant. Oh man, this is a beautiful cover. I wish I could have gotten a hold of that before it sold out. Absolutely beautiful book. All right. Yeah, and there are there's covers for every taste out there. We got some really, really fun books. Oh, and there's a Virgin variant on that one, too. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a Kevin Eastman, San Diego Comic-Con variant. A lot of San Diego variants this week for pretty much every book out there. We've got San Diego Comic-Con variants. So good. All right, that's enough of that. Deadpool and Wolverine, issue number three for World War Three number, or World War Three issue number three. Rook Exodus, number four. Now, this has been a fun read. If you guys aren't reading Rook Exodus, you should really be checking that out. King Spawn, issue number 36. Zaytana, bring down the house, number two. Monstrous, issue number 53. Batman, the Brave and the Bold, number 15. We got some Captain America, number 11. We got NYX, number one. We got Wolverine Blood Hunt, number four. That's a beautiful cover on that one. Almost looks like a Mark Texaria cover, is it? Let's find out. Let's check it out. Let's do this. Nope, it's not, but it's still awesome. That's a cool cover. Absolute Power Task Force 7, number two. The Sacrificers, number 10. Power Girl, number 11. Batman Dark Age, number four. We got Absolute Power Origins, number one. And this is the story of Amanda Waller. Fun stuff there. Universal Monsters, Creatures from the Black Lagoon, Liz, number four. Conan the Barbarian, number 13. Strange Academy, Blood Hunt, number three. Barrel, number five. Nice House by the Sea, issue number one. Woohoo! From the Black Label of DC Comics. The highly anticipated sequel to James Tinian's enigmatic epic. No one who invited no one who was invited to the house knew Max, but she knew each and every one of them. Masters of their fields, titans of industry and knowledge. They all represented the best and brightest of humanity. So when Max whispered to each of them the truth of what they deserved, to be saved from disaster, to carry on the flame of civilization in a paradise built just for them, they all leaped to the chance. Why not? Why shouldn't there be why shouldn't they be the ones to live forever? Isn't it their destiny to survive the culling of the lesser herd? Wouldn't being named the future of humanity be nice? Woo! Aha! That actually sounds kind of fun. Only a couple different covers there. Nothing too exciting. Oh, we do have a 1 in 25 incentive cover, which is kind of interesting. Didn't expect to see that. So we all know this is the sequel to Nice House on the Lake, which was a lot of fun. It was a great read. So, Venom, Separation Anxiety, number three. The Six Fingers, number five. No One, number ten. Venomverse Reborn, number two. Local Man, number twelve. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 122. Something Epic, number twelve. Hello Darkness, issue number one, coming at us from Boom Studios. I really love that cover. This is Garth Enos and James Tinian and all kinds of fun stuff. Brian Azzarello. Horror fans, rejoice in the cadaverous daylight or delight because Hello Darkness is a brand new monthly anthology series featuring what Boom Studios is known for, the best in modern horror, fantasy, and mystery, not to mention the darkest stories yet from an all-star cast of creators. Woohoo! That is going to be fun. I love anthology books. Always have, ever since the, you know, the old black and white anthology books from the 80s. So much fun. Had a blast with them, so I'm really excited for this. So we got here. We got a bunch of open orders. Got a Peach Momoko variant going on. Oh, that is trippy and cool. I love that. That reminds me of the old illustrations from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Oh, yeah, that totally brings back that vibe. I am all over that. And it's an open order. So we cover price. All right, what else do we got here? Oh, we got actually got second printings already planned out. That's fun. So I guess this book sold out the first time around. All right. What do we got? Annihilation 2099, number four. Dick Tracy, number three. Epitaphs from the Abyss, issue number one. This is the rebrand of EC, EC Comics. 
from the publishers that drove Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror, Haunt of Fear, and many more into the depraved hearts of an unsuspecting world, the immortal EC Comics returns on July 24th with its first bold and bloody new series in nearly 70 years. Oh, so good. Oni Press is bringing this to us. First, extra size 40 page dose of fear, witness shocking tales of torment and tension in the immortal EC tradition. As wrenched from the grave by the vile intentions of acclaimed writer Brian Azzarello. Ooh, that's fun. Let's see what else we got here. Nobody else exciting. Yeah, I'm still all over this. This is going to be a blast. Love horror comics. We got a bunch of amazing covers, a whole bunch of open orders, including a blank and then a bunch of incentives. All just screaming, just classic, absolute classic. This is going to be fun. Okay, let's see what else we got. Godzilla vs. the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2, number 4. Berserker, a face full of bullets, number 1. Uncanny Valley, issue number 4. Spawn kills everyone, issue number 1. What happens when you find out you're not the only Hellspawn? What if you also find out you're not the coolest Hellspawn? Easy. You kill them all. So, oh, this is Spawn Kills Every Spawn. The original series was Spawn Kills Everyone. I'm surprised there's only two covers on this. And they are just open order variants. I really expected a lot more from that. But hey, should be cool. We got Supermassive coming at us from the World of Radiant Black. Flash Gordon number one from Mad Cave. American Psycho number five. Army of Darkness Forever issue number ten. Gargoyles Quest, number three. Star Trek Defiant, issue number 17. Marvel Zero, number one. Now, I really don't suggest anybody buy Marvel Zero, number one. It's just the reprint of all the free comic book day titles in one book. I mean, if you didn't get a chance to grab them, then, you know, it's worth picking up. But if you did pick up the free comic book day Marvel books, don't bother. Blow Away, number four. Barbaric, Born in Blood. Nemesis. Rogues Gallery, issue number one from Mark Miller. I absolutely love Nemesis. It's such a great story. I love it. Although I miss the Steve McNiven artwork on it. Immediately following the events of the big of the Smash Hit big game, Nemesis lies broken and destroyed, but hell bent on vengeance against every single person who wronged him. The bloody fire fire back begins here as he marshals together a plan for the ages. Looks like we got a J. Lee variant cover, which a little weird. I don't know. You know, J. Lee used to be an absolutely amazing artist back through the 90s. His work was so dark and gritty and visceral and uh, and now it's just gotten gangly and weird. Most artists get better as they progress. I don't know. I feel like he's gotten worse as he's, you know, progressed. But hey, still love his classic work and he's still an amazing dude. He's great to talk to. Really like him. Master of the Universe Revolution, number three. We have Minor Threats, The Fastest Way Down, number four. The Big Burn, issue number one. This is actually the last book I want to spotlight. We pretty much blasted through these books this week. New series debut from uh, Distillery here. We got Owen and Carly are the Bonnie and Clyde of the 21st century. A smooth, slick duo who pull off impossible heists and have the time of their lives doing it. But... When justice finally catches up to them, they think it's all over until the devil himself offers them a deal, their freedom for their very souls. That sounds cool. I really like that. All right. So now I'm just going to skim over some of these coming out because there's a bunch of, uh, of uh, second printings and things like that. But there are a few other ones here. Like we've got Godzilla Skater Die number two. Yeah. We got a Wolverine 88 facsimile. Now, that's been a hot book the last two weeks. I even put it in my mystery boxes last month because I was able to get a good price for it completely exploded. Under Heist number five. We have Almost Dead number three and four. We got some One Piece in My Hero Academia. Self Health number two. You and I number six. Wolverine number 88, the foil variant. Now, that might be me picking that up. We got Torpedo 1972 number five. Resident Alien, The Book of Life, issue number two. We have Thanos Annual, the Chad Harden foil variant. Writer, number two. When the Blood Has Dried, number four. Project Cryptid, number 11. Uh, Calyx, and I'm pretty sure I, sp I spotlighted last week. Ram God, issue number one. I definitely know I spotlighted How to Steal an Election. I guess it didn't come out. Back issue 153. Eternal Warriors, The Last Ride of the Immortals, coming to us from Alien Books, which is also, Valiant Comics. I guess they're doing a small rebrand and putting out a bunch of books. 
Joy Operations 2, number 2, Batman, Wayne Family Adventures. We got Hate Revisited, number 2. Something is Killing the Children, number 38, San Diego Comic-Con, Black Mask, Glow-in-the-Dark variant. Price tag of 30 bucks, but that is the San Diego variants for you. We got The Dark's Soul Side, number 1, again coming out from Alien slash Valiant Books. Lego Ninjago. We got Sakamoto Days. Orcs the Gift, number 4. We got some Nexus newspaper strips coming around. Biden's Titans also spotlighted that one. Valentine Bluffs Massacre, number three. Blood and Fire, number three. Rock and Roll Biographies, number 24. Run DMC. Ooh, that's awesome. I love that. We got some X-Men, number one. The Alex, Store, Alex Ross Web Store San Diego Dom Comic Con variant. And this actually says it's only $5.99. I will believe that when I see it. So they're doing a reprint of X-Men number one. A couple companies are, and they're putting out their own covers for it. We got Man, Goat, and the Bunny Man. Fence Challengers, Longshot. Victor Crowley's Hatchet, Midnight Murders. I really loved Hatchet, the movie. So much fun. Spawn number one is getting a foil variant from San Diego Comic-Con. It says the price tag's buck ninety-five. so hopefully that is the case. We got some more Wolverine 88 reprints. We got Fire and Ice number five. Gun Hand number two. Greaser, Gemini Blues number one. We got some Blue Beetle number 11, Spanish edition. And then we got a bunch of second printings. Blood Hunt number three. Mirko and Doffel's Unsacred. We got a sketch cover variant. Rat City. We got the fourth printing. All kinds of fun stuff. And then a San Diego Comic-Con Phoenix issue number one variant. All right, people. That's it. Those are all the books I want to show you this week. Now, if you hadn't guessed, my pick of the week this week. Oh, boy. TMNT issue number one. That's it. I mean, there's going to be no better book than this this week. Everybody's going to be after this one. Oh, man. So excited for that. All right, that's it. That's everything I wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, if you didn't see earlier in the week, I put out a how to make New York style pizza video. So that was actually a lot of fun. I'm going to start doing some food tutorials because people seem to really enjoy them. And uh, like always, if you're new to the channel, hit that little sub button down there. If you like this kind of content, gently press that like button for me. And like always, guys, thank you so much for watching it. Take it easy.